Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video and in today's video I want to show you my haul from Travelers Company, uh, new diaries and planners for 2023 and uh, this is a only small part of, of the uh, journals and planners that I'm going to use in 2023. I'm still trying to figure out uh, my journal setup for 2023 and there will be a separate video on that. I will show all the journals that I'm going to use uh, in 2023 and this is only a very small part of that and also there will be a separate video on journals uh, of 2022. Um, yeah, so there will be at least two separate videos about journals and planners of this year and for the next year. And this is just a haul uh, from Traveler's Company, some things that I'm going to use next year. And I also got a gift from Japan from a friend, also with a few things from uh, Traveler's Company and Midori. And I'm going to show you those things in this video too. I think I will start from this monthly diary insert. I already unpacked it and looked inside. And uh, this one I am going to use again, same as this year. I used this insert um, all year long this year. This monthly insert looks exactly the same, same color of cover and uh, I'm using this for monthly plans. Uh, I really like to decorate it and here I have uh, mostly things like uh, some travel plans, like trips, concerts, uh, birthdays of some people and some important dates, not that I don't want to forget some appointments if there are any. So it's a, more like a personal planner, uh, but sometimes I also mark here some uh, things related to work, like if I'm going to have a shop update and stuff like that. And um, I'm going to use this monthly planner again uh, next year. I haven't decorated it yet, but soon I'm going to do that. I'm going to decorate the cover and I think I even will start it already in December. Maybe, I'm not sure. Last year I started this insert in December, so maybe I will start it even in December already. And as always, there is this guide and stickers. This year's this year it's coffee and notebooks theme of the stickers, and I think it's really really nice. And I'm definitely going to use also this guide to cut out some images from here. Looks really nice. And I also got this year uh, this diary, uh, weekly and memo diary. Uh, that's actually a new layout for me. I never used this one. I usually use a vertical layout. And actually for my bullet journal, I continue to do it, continue to use vertical layout. But I also got this... Uh, weekly diary horizontal so basically here is a week, week overview and a blank page for notes but i'm going to use this in a different way not as a planner it will be some other kind of journal and i'm going to show you and tell you more than in the next video uh, in my journals and planners 2023 setup until the time I already want to decorate the covers and decide how exactly I'm going to use it. I have at least two ideas for this one, so I haven't decided 100% yet um, how exactly I'm going to use it, but I'm definitely going to use it in 2023, just not as a diary or planner. And as my weekly planner, I always use this uh, vertical inserts. They are enough for half a year, uh, 28 weeks for 
half a year and these are undated and, and this is my favorite insert for planning and I use this undated insert for uh, for planning this is already the second one this year and this this one is uh, from July I think no June uh, till December or actually I think it will be until end of November because there are only a few pages left and then I'm going to switch to another one this one I will continue to use as my planner also next year and I also got this one uh, weekly vertical also dated but this one is actually 2022 and in case if you are wondering if it's not too late for this one I I will tell you that no, no it's not too late for this one at least not for me uh, I ordered this recently and it was with a huge huge discount this this was something like three euros I guess like three three fifty this one is uh, 2022 weekly vertical diary and I'm going to use it in 2023 and I will tell you more about it also in the next video, uh, in my journals 2023 setup video and will show you how I'm going to use it. And the reason why I got this one, because it was on sale, it was really cheap for uh, these two inserts and it also comes with, with this guide that I still can use and cut out these images and use and also stickers and yeah, uh, there is a uh, year on this sticker, but it doesn't bother me at all. And anyway, the stickers are pretty and I still can use them. And I'm going to use this in the way that it actually doesn't matter for me that it's dated because anyway, I will cover these dates and it won't be visible. And this calendar here on the side also doesn't bother me because I'm going to decorate this and this calendar will be more like a background so anyway it will be hardly visible and the dates will be covered something similar like I'm doing actually in my weekly um, in my weekly planner I always use here my own date stickers and decorate this part and like use my own stickers and monthly stickers and stuff and sometimes also days of the week so i'm going to do something he uh, something similar here and all these dates here will be covered so it really doesn't matter for me anyway and it was a really very very good price for this two inserts because usually they are quite uh, expensive and three euros for this it's a really good price and I'm going to use this next year and yeah I will decorate it and will show you more than in the next video I will show you then how exactly I'm going to uh, to use this and also together with this one and actually that's something that I still want to decide uh, like I have two ideas for two new more or less new journals for next year and I still have to decide which one I'm going to use for those two reasons this weekly uh, vertical or horizontal I still hope have to decide about that but more on that in the next video uh, then I also got a set of this stickers to customized diaries and mostly as always I think as many other people be uh, because of this first sticker sheet this one is really beautiful very nice foiled stickers with coffee and notebooks these other sheets are the same as every year except also this one this one is also different every year it's always there these are clear pockets but the prints on the pockets usually are different every year so basically these two uh, sheets are uh, new every year but these are the same the dot stickers this i used completely from the previous set i had this uh, sticker set also this year and i used this one pretty much completely all the all the dots 
Then this icons, I thought that I won't use it at all, but surprisingly I also used most of them and I used them in this monthly insert here in my planner for marking different dates and events and stuff like that for marking my trips and yeah some things like that and I used this sheet almost completely so I think I'm going to use it again also this monthly tabs I also used quite a bit not all of them but most of them and also these are alphabet stickers alphabet and numbers in two sizes and these are always good to have I use stickers like this in my uh, travel journals so also got this uh, sticker yearly sticker set again and then I also got these two clear folders passport and regular size both because I really like this uh, illustrations here and both of them are also foiled they look really nice also as you can see here this part is clear and all the letters are foiled and looks really cool and I use this mostly uh, when I'm traveling I take at least one of this and collect ephemera in these folders uh, all the different papers that I collect during the trip like tickets and some maps and postcards and all paper stuff from the trip I collect in folders like this and it's very convenient to have everything in one place and also at home I use some of this for storage uh, some of this I also have on my desk with some small ephemera that I'm using very often something that I like to have laying next to me use in my daily journals and I mostly use this passport size folder for small ephemera to keep something on my desk and uh, last year I got only one only regular size I think but this year I actually like both of them both of the illustrations so I decided to get two and also this pencil board in regular size only in regular size because uh, passport was sold out where I bought it and I don't really use passport size pencil boards I have one but I hardly ever use it but this regular size I uh, take with me when I'm traveling and it's really nice to have this like underlay sheet for writing so I got this one in regular size also, also mostly uh, because of the illustrations because I really like this coffee and notebooks theme this traveler's cafe looks really cool so these are the things from traveler's company all like diary and planners related things that i recently got and that i'm going to use next year and now i will show you a gift from a friend from japan uh, she went to one of traveler's company shops there and got a few things also for me and it was it was really kind of her to, to send me this nice gift and i hope sometime i also will go to japan and will visit all traveler's company shops that's definitely on my list uh, so uh, she went to uh, to the shop in the airport narita airport got a few things in that shop directly and i think ordered something online so first she sent me this short trip refills um, in passport and regular size uh, with md cream paper and that's actually my favorite um, kind of refills for for my travel journals and collages but i never had this uh, short trip refills because they are sold only in travelers company shops and also official partner shops and there is no partner shop in sweden unfortunately so i never used this before and basically it's the same that regular md paper uh, insert but 
uh, half of the size, it's only 32 pages instead of 64 and these are good for short trips and I have an idea how I can use this, especially this passport refill. I have a few ideas about my travel journal setup for, the, for next year and especially for short trips, so this will be, I think, very handy. The paper inside is basically the same, just the refill is smaller than the regular size. And then she also sent me this. This one is really great. This, that's a special edition. That's collaboration of Travelers Company and Manual Factory. The one that makes the this cute bear uh, that I also showed you a short while ago. I got this bear and showed you in the video about uh, new stationery. And I really like this bear and this insert is also from that collaboration and I think it has craft paper inside. Yes, it's craft paper and I also really love craft paper inserts and use them often for collages, for my journals with collages and I really like how, how this insert look, uh, looks and it's really cool and I'm really happy that I have this one. I was eyeing this for a while and was thinking to order it on Etsy maybe or so, but my friend was very kind and sent me this and I'm really grateful for this one. And then she also sent me uh, this insert. Uh, it's not from Traveler's Company, it's something else, but uh, she said that she saw this in one of the local shops and um, it's um, book themed so she thought that I can use it for a book journal and I think I'm actually really going to do that because next year I also want to improve my book journal and um, do more book journaling than I did this year because I actually read a lot but I hardly ever journal about books that I read and I would like to do that more often. So maybe I'm really going to use this as a book journal. I really like the cover, it's very pretty. And then uh, this, these two are the things from the uh, Narita Airport Travelers Company shop. Uh, that's definitely from, from the shop itself when she was there. Uh, this is a washi tape uh, that they have in the airport shop, the special edition for, for the airport, all with the luggage and with different tags, everything flight related. I think it's really cool. And I'm also definitely going to use this in my travel journals next year. But I hope sometime I can use it for my Japanese travel journal when I go there. And also this uh, box with stickers, also uh, airplane stickers, airlines, stuff like that. I think there are four or five kinds of, of stickers. Also going to use them in my travel journal. They look really cool. I like them design of them and uh, these are paper stickers and so here you can write a date or name or um, number of your flight or your destination something like this so I think this will be really cool to use especially uh, if I'm flying somewhere then she also sent me this and she said this is for Christmas already like Christmas mood and I really love this bear. It's super cute. I'm still not sure where exactly I'm going to use it, but I'm really happy to have it. It's really, really cool. Love this Travelers Factory bears. I also have uh, leather tags that I use on my journals, but this one is a uh, brass and looks super cool. So I'm definitely going to use it too. And this one is uh, from Midori. This is a bookmark, Midori bookmark. And actually I have one um, from the same collection, I guess, but with a very cute hedgehog and I use it in my, in my planner. Uh, I have a hedgehog with fountain pen. Super cute, really love this one. And 
now I also have a bear bookmark. It's also very similar. It's an embroidered bookmark and it's double-sided and it's really, really, really nice. So another bear to my collection. I really love bears and my friends know that and often send me something with bears or raccoons because I also really love raccoons, but it's more difficult to find something with raccoons than with bears. So they usually send me bears then. Yeah, so this were a few gifts from a friend from Japan and I'm really happy to have such a generous friend and really grateful for all these things. All these things are very cool and very useful and um, yeah, these are also the things that I will be using next year. Uh, these inserts, definitely. So that's that was all what I wanted to show you today. And one of the next videos will be about my journals 2023 setup, journals and planners, and also planners and journals review of 2022. I think this will be the first one and then 2023. So you will see this in one of the next videos and I will show them in more details and will tell you how exactly I'm going to use them. But for today, that's all what I wanted to show you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye!